until showtime. Ooh, looking good, trees. Ooh, loving that bark work, Nathan. I use real fungus. Ew. Gross. How's it going, Luis? I'm not going out there. So many people looking at me. I'm gonna be sick. Just pretend that everyone in the audience is in their underwear and you'll be fine. My parents are in the audience. Yeah, everyone except them. Ugh. Logan, I swear if you drop me, I'm so breaking up with you! How's it coming, Terrence? Uh, he still hasn't figured out how to get me in the play. Don't worry, Gracie. The curtain only goes up when everyone has a part to play. I believe in you, Terrence. Uh, you should have been tree number five. Whoa, okay, I gotcha. Uh-oh, whoa, watch out for those audio cables. Don't want to lose your better half. Better for who? The left! Oh. The other ah. left! A play without Gracie is like a unicorn without a horn. A fairy godmother without a wand. A witch without a broom? Ooh, ooh like toadstools without toads or stools. Not helping! No pressure. One minute! Okay, Terrence, tell me you've got something. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm not gonna be in the play. Am I? Am I? I am not going out there without Gracie. Neither am I. Nice try, Louise. Dang. The curtain doesn't rise unless we all have a part. For sure. Yeah. Um, a little help? <gasps> I need that audio cable. Quick, everyone give him a hand. Come on, get him over here. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! All you, Terrence. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Come on, come faster. On. It's perfect. Once upon a time, in a dark, dark forest, the air was full of magic. So powerful, even the trees could cast a spell too. when everyone has a part to play. I should have been tree number five. <gasps> it's perfect. So many people looking at me. I'm gonna be sick. I'm so breaking up with you! Two minutes till showtime. Um, a little help? Better for who? I use real fungus. Ew! Gross. Tug stools without toes or stools. I got nothing. A play without Gracie is like a fairy godmother without a wand, a witch without a broom, a dragon without fire, a big bad wolf without teeth. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Once upon a time, there was a tiny cottage hidden amongst um, amongst the trees. <laughs> I can't talk. I can't talk. Ooh, I almost fell off the chairs. Wait, what was the line? <laughs> oh my, I forgot my line again. You did it again. I did it again? I'm so sorry. My name is Preston, and I'm a unicorn. Ha ha ha. No. Ha 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 ha. No. <laughs> <laughs> is that your sister? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's happening. I feel like it was a good opportunity because our middle school play got ripped away from us and now to see us like come to life in this short film is like really cool and also because we're all so close. The crew really did an amazing job um, figuring out ways to bring the show to the kids. Just seeing everybody how they could come together and seeing my friends working with my friends and all that was just a really great experience being able to connect with them in a different way. It was really put together well, and the editors did their like amazing job on how well they put it together, and the animation and the experience of how well it was, it was amazing. It's definitely sad that we can't put on the play at school, and it was gonna be like my first musical at the school. Being away from my drama friends, I keep things to myself more, and I can't really connect to anyone. 
My expectation was that I was going to be on the stage with a bunch of friends, and I'm really sad that I couldn't do that. They're theater kids, so they perform, and uh, they want to put that that strong face forward, and it makes me very proud as their teacher, but I know that they are missing out on those opportunities. I've never done anything like this, so hopefully you guys think this is as cool as I do. I think this is really different and weird and awesome. Hands up if you're ready to start. Top of the page, we'll start again. Uh, the director approaches a sheepish mouse. I'm not going out there. There's like a thousand people, maybe a billion. <laughs> yeah, I think that works great. Fairy Godmother swings by. Logan, if you drop me, I am so breaking up with you! Something that was really clear and talking to all the kids at Thurman White Middle School was that their friendships, their social existence, is entirely born out of being creative with other people. And there you are. <laughs> That's cool. <gasps> I love that. That's me. I'm cute. I'm a cartoon now. When you're not looking at it, there's nothing. But when I look, the little face appears. Hi, how are you? Not helping. Not helping. <laughs> He still hasn't figured out how to get me into play. Like that? <laughs> That's great. Don't worry, Gracie. The curtain only goes up when we all have a part to play. I believe in you, Terrence. Uh, the cartoon was just, it was just so cool. There's like a thousand people, maybe a billion. Pretend everyone in the audience is in their underwear and you'll be fine. My parents are in the audience. A play without Gracie is like a unicorn without a horn. A fairy godmother without a wand. A dragon without fire. Toadstools without toads, or stools. Not helping! This makes me feel like, like I'm a part of something bigger. I think that the most fun part of it was that it was like a community, so everyone got to experience these things together, and we can all look back and say, like, this was what we did together. It seems almost impossible to have that all converge together into one beautiful performance, but through the magic of these technologies and animation, we're actually able to make that happen, and it's, it's super wonderful to see come together. Two minutes till showtime. So it was really uh, interesting. At first, we were on winter break. I was sending out emails and I said, guys, we were chosen and they've been so excited from the start to the finish, but I don't think that they quite understood how amazing this experience was. And then they brought in Patrick and I said, this is an Academy Award winning director. And on that first day, they all went, whoa, uh, this is serious. This is something big. And when the kids heard how impactful the story is and what, what this story is about. It's about us, you know, trying to stay close, even though we can't be together. And I think once the kids figured that out, they just, the excitement went through the roof. It's been nonstop drawn closer at our school since. When I heard what Cox was doing with the animated film Drawn Closer, I was so excited and I knew I had to get involved. I am honored and thrilled to be the red carpet host for Drawn Closer. I remember when I saw myself first on TV and I was so excited, so I cannot imagine how these kids feel. Unfortunately, due to COVID, I cannot interview the kids in person, so they'll just have to answer my questions over Zoom. Hi, Ms. Wilder. Congratulations doing such an amazing job teaching your class during the pandemic. What was it like not being able to see them perform in person? Well, that's always a really, really hard thing for a teacher because we love being in person and we love seeing our kids live, but Getting to see them on the big screen is just as exciting. It's kind of a cool new experience for us. So um, though I miss seeing them in person, um, getting to see them, you know, on the big screen has just been worth it. Hello, my name is Ava Betancourt and I played the director. Hi Ava, it's so cool that you worked with an Oscar winning director. What did the whole experience mean to you? Okay, so it was really cool to work with a director that's been won an Oscar so I was really excited because you know obviously the hype was real <laughs> and he was super nice and he made it a really fun environment for everyone to work together. It was amazing. <laughs> it was like like the best experience like I felt like a pop star like it was, it was just crazy. 
Hi, my name is Penelope Varga, and I play Enchanted Tree 3. Good. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Penelope. What was your favorite thing about taking part in Drawn Closer? My favorite part of being a part of Drawn Closer was definitely the final product because it was crazy to see how in such a short period of time this incredible animation could come together and that I was a part of it. It just feels so cool. <laughs> I'm Nathan Gibbs and I play Enchanted Tree number one in Drawn Closer. Hi Nathan, what did you like most about having a role in Drawn Closer? Honestly, it was just all great because it was it was just better than I expected. Just seeing everyone on screen together, like having all of our voices behind the characters, it was just amazing. Hello, my name is Everett Guerin and I am Terrence in Drawn Closer. Thank you. Hi Everett, what words of wisdom do you have to kids across the country that love theater like you do, miss their friends and the stage? If you participate enough in what you love, keep your camera on and just participate as much as you can, become, you'll become really awesome. My advice is don't worry much. Do it maybe at home, maybe in front of your parents, or put all your stuffed animals around your bed. Pretend the bed's the stage. Stand on the bed. Sing or act or dance, whatever you want to do. Hi, my name is Reagan Robinson, and I play the dragon. Oh my gosh. It was amazing because, like, I feel like it was a different person, so you got to be like super dramatic, you got to do like different things with your voice to match the character. Even if we went through lines dozens of times, every single time I felt like I was doing something important and that made it so much better. And seeing my animated self afterwards was adorable. Hi Mackenzie, what did you like most about having a role in Drawn Closer? What I liked most is I got to express myself in a way that's never imaginable. Like I was in a cartoon and that's crazy. But now that we're all here together in this amazing production and we're all these little animated characters, I really hope that people enjoy it. And I'm like, I keep saying this, I'm just so excited. <laughs> Back here in Las Vegas, when coronavirus took away a middle school's big performance, it also led to an opportunity of a lifetime. Some students became the stars in an animated short film, as you're seeing here, called Drawn Closer. The movie is called Drawn Closer, and it's directed by Oscar-winning director Patrick Osborne. It includes 22 students from Henderson's Thurman White Academy, all orchestrated by Cox Communications as part of an initiative to connect students. At first, I really couldn't believe it. I was like, is this real? Is this a very extremely early April Fool's prank? Is this something that you're just gonna be like, huh, psych, sorry we lied to you about that. But then it kind of settled on me and I was like, wow, this is actually something I'm going to be a part of. And I thought that was really cool. Seeing the entire class come together to help, uh, to help Gracie and to kind of get, her, get it so that everyone is in this show because that's what it's like in our drama department. We all help each other, we boost each other up so that we, in the end we all succeed. And it was just so incredible to see that represented in something that we put together. I really like acting and I'm such a drama queen at home and in like public and all of that, but I'm such an amazing focused dancer that I really think that both will really work out. I, every time I try to go up stage, I always have a sense of nervousness like I it feels like something's holding me back from going on the stage and it, I feel nervous before I even go in front of big crowd of people and stuff you know when I was told I was a unicorn butt I was a bit confused on what it really was being the comic relief type of a thing makes sense to me and I don't see myself being any other thing other than unicorn butt just because that fits me I found out that I was Gracie, got very excited. I showed my dad the script that they sent. He was like, that's such a great role, good job. You never expect something, someone who has won an Oscar to like talk to you <laughs> and see you and be like, hey, cool, yeah, thanks for being my actor. You never expect to work for someone like that. I didn't Im imagine how like it would be animated. I knew how it like fit in with the story because I read the whole script multiple times. But 
I just didn't under didn't know that it was gonna be like around a table and it was kind of cool to see how it came out. We just got the script and we had a read through and that was the first time that we all came together on Zoom and really set our lines. This has all been so much fun. I enjoyed every minute of it and being with my friends to top it all off, it was amazing. Good trees. Ooh, look at that bark work, Nathan. I use real fungus. Ew. Gross. How's it going, Luis? I'm not going out there. So many people looking at me. I'm gonna be sick. Just pretend that everyone in the audience is in their underwear and you'll be fine. My parents are in the audience. Yeah, everyone except them. Ugh. Logan, I swear if you drop me, I'm so breaking up with you! How's it coming, Terrence? Uh, he still hasn't figured out how to get me in the play. Don't worry, Gracie. The curtain only goes up when everyone has a part to play. I believe in you, Terrence. Uh, it should have been tree number five. Whoa, okay, I got you. Uh-oh, whoa, watch out for those audio cables. Don't want to lose your better half. Better for who? The left, the other ah. left. A play without Gracie is like a unicorn without a horn. A fairy godmother without a wand. A witch without a broom. Ooh, ooh like toadstools without toads or stools. Not helping. No pressure. One minute. Okay, Terrence, tell me you've got something. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm not gonna be in the play. Am I? Am I? I am not going out there without Gracie. Neither am I. Nice try, Louise. Dang. The curtain doesn't rise unless we all have a part. For sure. Yeah. Um, a little help? <gasps> I need that audio cable. Quick, everyone give him a hand. Get him over here. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! All you, Terrence. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come Faster. On. Let's go. Let's get on stage. Go. <gasps> it's perfect. Once upon a time, in a dark, dark forest, the air was full of magic. So powerful, even the trees could cast a spell or two. I don't have any children of my own, and so these are my babies, and uh, seeing them do these types of performances just makes me incredibly proud. It just feels so good to watch, and we're all really proud of ourselves. I'm very excited, <laughs> to say the least. Every person I met made me the person I am today, and I take every part, just making people smile, basically, is my goal in life. It's been pretty hard during quarantine because you lose some friends, and you know, it's you haven't had that social experience, but getting to do this unique project, it just made everything so much better, and I'm so happy that I got to do it with my friends, and you know, it, it did bring us all closer, so I'm very grateful for that. People who inspire me to act and to perform, but the main people would be my parents because they're always pushing me to do my best, but they're always encouraging me and they're always by my side no matter what I do. And then the other person would probably be my theater teacher, Miss Wilder, because she's always upbeat and peppy and she's always helping us and she's always making theater so fun, so I want to continue doing that. So when I went into theater, I met Miss Wider before I actually went into the class. She told me it's super fun and everything, and I really loved the teacher, because she was super energetic, she sounded so much fun, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try it. 
it's been just such a growing experience for them. They are more confident now. I was not very social whatsoever. So he was like really relatable to my sixth grade self. I didn't really like, want to talk to people and all that and it was just like awkward, but now I, I'm a little bit better with that. Mr. Thrall and Ms. Wilder have both been my inspiration to keep working and keep going for the past three years. And since I started acting, they made me much more confident. They are the reason I get up every morning. And so um, if I can inspire them in any small way, that just makes me feel like I'm fulfilling my life's purpose. So that's pretty wonderful. Sorry, I'm getting all cried. Now that I see it, it's cooler than I had thought because I didn't like fully process how animated and how cool it was gonna look. I did not know, for a second I was like, wait, that was my voice? And some specific voices, I'm like, yeah, their voice changed within a month. All the characters were so cute, they looked exactly like us. And, um, you know, just hearing ourselves on the screen, it was adorable and I loved it. I don't think in a million years I would have imagined standing on a red carpet or seeing, hearing my voice come from a cartoon character. When I saw how my hair looks, it's, my hair is amazing. I thought it turned out amazing. I loved it so much, it made me laugh like the entire time. It's more than what I imagined, it's amazing, I loved it. This is so good, I'm part of this, like how even? All right, bet. all right, you guys, you changed everyone's lives. It turned out so awesome, and it was so beautiful, it was so amazing. Honestly, it was so freaking cool, just seeing everyone like together animated. Uh, this is like my first real acting job, so it's super cool. I think it just turned out amazing, and I'm like so grateful that I had this opportunity. It's even better than I thought it would be. Oh, it was so great. I'm so proud that I got to be a part of such an amazing project. Thank you so much. <laughs> Having done this, uh, they are able to express themselves better. They are telling their classmates things, that, like helping them with, with scenes and monologues in class now that they weren't before. They were kind of, you know, hanging out and now they're, they're more expressive. It's just been, a, just, it's, it's been a great experience. Cox, thank you so much for this opportunity. And in the short period of like, I think two and a half months, you guys have accomplished so much. Honestly, Cox, it was way better than a school play. To Cox, I want to say thank you for this amazing opportunity because it was really fun and it expanded my range of things that I can say that I've done in my life. Thank you, Cox, and thank you, Patrick. It turned out beautifully. You did a great job. Congratulations to Cox, Patrick Osborne, Mrs. Wilder, and the entire cast and crew of Drawn Closer for producing an amazing movie. Thanks to all of you guys from Cox, like, we put on a show. It's just so incredibly amazing to see each other and I'm gonna cry but I would love to say thank you so much for this beautiful opportunity it's such a unique thing to do during quarantine and it really helped all of us kids thank you Renegade, Renegade, Renegade.
I'm just do it, bro. Get it. But it was. What was the question again? <laughs> I'm sorry. The Batman kind of voice. Yeah, do it. I am Batman, and I am an actor. I'm really breathy, but it's fine. It is amazing. Swag level. Let's 